What's your favorite curse word? Motherfucker. What are three things you can't live without? My woman, my children, and my uh, perspective. Window seat or aisle seat? Always aisle. Three comedic heroes. Robin Harris, Ricky Harris, and uh, Red Fox. What is the biggest misconception about you? The biggest misconception about me is that I am unaware of their perceptions of me or concerned about them. What is your weakness? I fear not being able to communicate exactly what I'm saying at that moment. Like I fear not necessarily being misunderstood because obviously I have uh, a way that I want uh, to, 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 but because I, I think sometimes I'm not as formally educated as I should have been, sometimes I, I lose things in translation. What do you need every morning? The worst dream I ever had was that I never met LaDonna. So sometimes I, if I'm on the road for a long time, I'll think that, you know, that I'm being away from my family a long time. It's fun, but it's like sensory deprivation. It's like not seeing sunlight, it's not like not breathing. So that that is something I can't live without. What do you think Bernie Mac's legacy is? That even when people said they did not know what he was saying, everybody understood him. What's the very first comedic memory that you have of yourself? The very first comedic memory that I ever had of myself was when my mother said, you think you're gonna bullshit your way through life? And I do. What's a cause that's important to you? I would like for black people um, to live longer. And to live longer, you have to enjoy life, you have to take care of yourself, you have to have stresses taken. I would like for black people to see what I see in it. I, I would. I, I think that because we have no understanding of who we are, like every time you hear about us, we were always slaves. It was just, too, too many of our stories start in the middle. I would like for our stories to start in the beginning. How many tattoos do you have? Oh, probably 90. What's your favorite tattoo? The one I just got of my father. What's the craziest rumor you've heard about yourself? The craziest rumor, actually, Idris Alba did an interview where he talked about him selling weed while he worked at the uh, Carolines. And it was me and Dave Chappelle, so everybody assumed that I was a drug dealer. But actually, I just bought weed from Edgy Silver. That's really not the same thing at all. Not at all. What's your best quality? That I understand uh, my limits. What would you feed your friends at a dinner party? Well, I just learned how to make the best steak on the face of the earth. Okay. So, and I learned how to make a great meal. So I'd make a great steak, a baked sweet potato, and sauteed asparagus. And somebody would get stabbed, I'm telling you, it's so good. Where do you go when you need to be alone? <laughs> stage, I go to the stage. It's the only place that I'm not alone anymore. Like everybody's everywhere I'm at. Like if it ain't my family, it's my manager, it's my assistant, it's my children. It's, so the only place I'm ever alone where I need to be alone is the stage. What's the one thing people don't know about your career? Um, how I had to always come in through the side door or the rear door. Like I've never, I got an HBO special because I was the host and they wouldn't let me audition but they let me host. So I got it then. I, I got TV shows because I was a warm up on Will Smith's show. I got the Kings of Comedy because I had a TV show and by default. I got a radio show because another guy uh, quit the radio show and they needed somebody real fast. So all of my, everything that's ever happened to me has kind of been a one off. What's your guilty pleasure? Cigars. What's your favorite beverage? Gin, bourbon. <laughs> uh, I like gin, bourbon, wine. What historical figure would you like to have gin, bourbon, or wine with? Helen Keller. If your life was a song, what would it be? Ain't nothing like the real thing. What's one thing you still have from your childhood? Memories. Who's on your Mount Rushmore of comics? Robin Harris, Richard Pryor, I think Dave Chappelle, Ricky Harris to me, I think Bernie, I think George Carlin, and Marvin Gaye. What celebrity were you shocked to find out was a fan of yours? I was shocked uh, when I was at an airport and I was going in and George Carlin came up to me and told me how much he loved what I did. And I almost, uh, I had to call my wife and then, then, right then and there. I was, I was shocked. Where would you hide an elephant? Right where your compassion is supposed to be. Because <laughs> it ain't there. Like, right, like I, I would hide an elephant right in plain sight where a compassion is supposed to be beneath. What is one skill you wish you had? Playing a saxophone. What's the bravest thing you've ever done? I think loving somebody is the bravest thing you can ever do, right? Who would you want to write your obituary? I wouldn't want my wife to do it because uh, she would be more saccharine and it'd be a long ass service. And I wouldn't want my children to do it, um, both of my children. I wouldn't want my son to do it because he'd be the clearest. 
Without context, what's the punchline to your favorite joke? <laughs> and then that bitch said, What's your wife's favorite vacation spot? Anywhere that she makes me pay a lot of money. What's something about you that you wish more people focused on? I can't think of a, that, that would mean that I would be aware and concerned about their perception, so I can't think of anything I wish they were aware of. What's one place you'd like to go without being recognized? The one place I'd like to go without being, <laughs> being recognized is the bathroom. That would be nice. What movie made you laugh the hardest? Um, it's Soul Man. If you had to choose another career, what would it be? I would like to be a saxophone player, or I'd like to be a defense attorney. Proudest moment of your career? The proudest moment of my career was this last time when I wrote a Netflix special. Even though I was exhausted and didn't have any jokes and my old man was dying, and I just didn't know that I'd be able to do it. So that would probably have been the problem. What's the one thing missing in your life at this very moment? Um, I think my old man. Who's the last person you text? I text my agent to tell him, to tell my assistant to leave me alone. Because okay. the next question was going to be, can you read it out loud? Yeah, I could, but you couldn't hear it. When was the last time you cried? Often. Often. I think the last time I cried was when I saw uh, the, uh, the uh, uncensored, when I remembered that I lost my old man. That's my last time. What's your favorite flavor of THC? Uh, blueberry yum yum, which my daughter, my youngest daughter, just gave me with her drug singing, uh, selling ass. I'm just, I'm just saying. Her mother didn't know that. But. What's the hardest thing about being in love? Uh, no, no, never feeling safe. I don't. I think that love necessarily shouldn't be safe. First of all, I've never asked if somebody loved me because I only cared how I felt about them. So I think uh, the safest thing is depending on how somebody else feels about. Why don't you apologize? Um, for jokes that may offend people. Because I wouldn't mean it. I won't apologize for jokes that offend people. It would may mean that you made me capitulate to something I didn't believe. Do you still plan on your grandchildren calling you him? Yes. And you know, I want my grandchildren to call me him because I want to have a hand in them being formally educated but sound subversive and ignorant when they talk about me. Is him home? What's the brokest you've ever been? I was married and uh, I was newly married and we had just had a, uh, a baby and my wife was pregnant again because I don't know what was wrong with her. She was always getting knocked up for some reason. But um, And she was in the hospital and she was in charge of the bills. And she wrote a check that she knew would bounce, but I didn't I didn't know. And so I came on, it was a, a, a eviction, not an eviction, but you, they wouldn't take any more checks. So we had to get cash or money order. And I had my daughter Ryan and the lights were off and I was feeding her mashed up bananas. Um, by candlelight, and she was just laughing and cooing, and I thought, what a dumb kid this is. <laughs> and I promised I would never do that again. I would never let that happen again. Uh, true or false, you lost your virginity at age 11? Yes, true. Natural hair versus perm? I think natural hair. Do you have a foot fetish? Only that they don't smell. Butt or boobs? Definitely bad. Are you part of the Mile High Club? Yes. Boxers or briefs? Boxers. Beer or wine? Wine. Name your celebrity crush. It would have to be Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett is my favorite because I like a woman who is beautiful but it could help you in a fight. Like she, like she looks like, like if Courtney and her got in to get down, she would go, go get the car, I got these niggas. The most money you've ever spent on someone else? I think uh, my wife for her, so a yellow diamond uh, uh, ring she wore. Therapy or prayer? I would only pray for therapy though, so I, don't, I think it's very definitely therapy. Last one, Martin or Fresh Prince? Definitely fresh friends. Yeah, he gave me my first TV friends. I have to say, yeah, yeah.